What we're gonna do today is compare three different games and what I look at mostly is uh, water landing and the three games that I'm gonna be uh, comparing are uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 which came out about two weeks ago GTA 5 and Just Cause 4 and uh, the reason I compare these games is because in my opinion they are the best when it comes to uh, controls uh, you know planes stuff like that so without any further ado we're gonna begin with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and here we go full throttle okay I think by now we have uh, gained enough altitude so we're gonna shut both engines off and both engines are off We need to go slightly s slower so that we are we land safely on the water. But the controller is shaking now. I should just pull up, 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 pull up. We are not ready to land on the water yet. Okay, go down, level out. Okay, I'm stalling the plane now. Uh, shit. Okay, so you saw the landing. Um. I guess it's not the most realistic. So with this set, uh, I'm gonna jump to uh, GTA 5 and recreate exactly the same thing. So hold on. All right, so uh, now this is GTA 5 and I finally managed to uh, get the jumbo jet, which is the uh, only commercial plane that you can fly in this game, unfortunately. You cannot fly the other one, uh, which looks like a regular, the smaller version, so to speak. Let's say the A320. So we're going to try to land it on water as smoothly as we possibly can. So let's slow down. So you have no speed indication here in this game, which is understandable because this is a, not a flight simulator. Okay, so the bad thing about this game is that when the engines the engines are completely off, you have almost zero control over the plane. So I'm gonna try to land it as smoothly as possible with the engine still running. Okay, and here it goes. So at least we landed in one piece. Uh, I mean, the plane does not float at all it goes down directly okay so we are now playing just cause 4 so we're gonna try to land it on water and see how it compares with the other two games that we've played unlike GTA 5 this actually gives you the uh, speed which is measured right now in kilometers per hour <laughs> but whatever so we're gonna try to slow down and land it right here uh, this game has really funny uh, controls because when you slow down it gets completely slow to the to the point where you say how does the plane fly with, at this speed but and you cannot control the landing gear when you slow down enough it lands like that and this is how it lands in just cause 4 it does not actually sink immediately like uh, in the case of GTA 5 I would say that this is pretty good for a game like this it's really good but the funny thing is that you, you can still control the plane <laughs> Wow, 
You can actually even fly out of the water after landing on it. This is cool. So let's go full speed and crash it into the water. You never know what can happen. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh. Have we, have we touched the water yet? Okay, so you bounce back out of the water. Let's dive in. Okay. At this point, the plane is actually almost dead. But it, it still flies. Wow, look at that. Okay. Now we're dead. I was going to say, it, why does it look so gray? So this is all for this episode. If you want me to compare other games, uh, especially when it comes to planes and flights, because that's what I like. Let me, know, let me know down in the comment section below, and for more make sure to like and subscribe to Gamelution.